So what would happen if no one died for 200 years? According to today's unboxing, nothing great. Everybody, what's going on? Hope you're having a safe and awesome week. We are talking about a house favorite today. It's a book that on more than one occasion I've mentioned that it got lost. When we first started the channel, when we first had the Triangle of Truth email, uh, this was a story where the writer had sent us a PDF to read, and it got lost in the email, and I never really checked the email. And for some reason, one day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go through the emails. And I found this, and what this is, is immortal era this is issue number eight from finish line comics I'll show you the back of it there got some lyrics to a song by thursday on the back but yeah this is immortal era issue eight finish line comics headquarters part two written by edward davis art by cesar Oliveira. Colors by Maja Opacic, or Opacic, I think it's Opacic, I'm terrible with names, please correct me. Uh, letters and design by Dan Schmidt, assistant editor Tony Pipitone, and editor Chuck Pino. Very, very awesome. Uh, I hope one day I can I can meet Edward and the, and the rest of the team uh face to face i've met chuck before uh chuck actually has a a quiz show it's a it's a kind of hybrid of a quiz show and an interview show uh on wednesdays on the experience called Tr triple t talking treats trivia and what he does is for the first half of the show he uh interviews somebody with a kickstarter or just a creator in general and then the last 30 minutes of the show does like a quiz show, gives out prizes. It's great. Check it out. We'll link that somewhere down there. But back to the book. I can't wait to crack into this one. Um, I honestly just got this today. And I was like, you know what? I'm shooting most of my videos today. I got to crack this one in here. When I get to the review part, I, I'm probably just going to do a synopsis. I actually filmed that part first. Again, transparency. Um... Uh, but yeah, we, as always, also got a little bag, or should I say envelope, of goodies. And I'm telling you folks, if, if you're somebody who hasn't done Kickstarter before, a lot of times the goodies and the extras that you get are fantastic. And you're just like, that's a lot of stuff I got for just backing one one issue of something. And it's really cool. Uh, yeah. Ah, man, I forget this character's name. But very first thing we got are these pins. And I need to check with Edward and see if there's a way to order the pins. I probably asked him before because I lost one of my pins. But I forget this character's name. But I love these pins. I got quite a few of them. Hopefully, let me move it out of the way. Honestly, folks, what you're seeing right now doesn't do the pen justice. It's very detailed. Very cool. I love these pens. And we got, ooh, a nice Immortal Era Finish Line Comic Keychain. Very dope. We got Ooh, what is this? Came in a really nice card protector. It's one of the covers. I love getting cards of the covers, the characters. I love getting the cards. It's like collecting baseball cards. On the back of it, let's say Worms Crawl, Crawl Out, which I believe is a book that Dan Schmidt does. I could be wrong. Please correct me in the comments if I am. He, he works on it, or it's his book. I can't remember, and I apologize to you, Dan, if none of that is accurate. But, again, card of the cover. Metal cards, little cards. Oh, they're just, I love them. I love them. And then, 
like most times, we got magnets. I have so many of these magnets now, and Edward, I hope you never stop. He actually has a another series coming out, I believe called The Corruptor. Again, I probably should have looked that up before I started the video, but I think it's called The Corruptor. And then, of course, we got some stickers. Here's the sticker of the cover I got. Then a sticker of one of the other covers. And another one. I love these. I, I love the fact that Edward does this because, you know, I only get one cover. It feels like I get a couple of covers because I have cards and stickers and magnets. Super cool. Oh, yep. Here it is. This is a card for the Corruptor. Got a little QR thing on the back. I probably can't get that to focus for you to scan it. But we'll definitely put a link into the description to this campaign. Uh, <clears throat> it says, Finish Line Comics presents a brand new series set... Ooh, I didn't know that. Set in the Immortal Era universe that follows the recently slain hitman, Tony Scamparza, who is recruited by Heaven and Hell to help recruit souls before the portals to the afterlife close and the immortal era begins. That sounds super dope. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have a link to that down there in the description. And then, and I'm pretty sure he does this with, with a lot of folks, but I keep these to myself now. I used to read these, but the, these mean a lot. And it's a, it's a personalized thank you card. And, uh, they mean a lot. They, they really do. It's, it's words just meant for us. So I'm going to keep them that way. Uh, Ed, I hope you and your family are doing fantastic. Uh, as always, you, you, you say that you appreciate it, that we back your book. Well, we appreciate you just being awesome. You're awesome. And as long as we can back you, we, we will back you. And if we can't back you, we will make damn sure that we share and bug enough people to where they can back you in our place so thank you boss i i really do i do appreciate the kind words from you so yeah um again unfortunately i haven't i just opened this so i haven't read it yet so for for my little part of the review uh i'm just gonna give you a basic synopsis so here we go so full disclosure i haven't read this issue yet I'm about two issues behind, I believe. Uh, but I was waiting for to get a couple more so I can binge them a little bit. But uh, let me give you the basic synopsis of what, uh, what the story entails. So this is a post-apocalyptic world, 200 years in the future, where all of humanity has become Im immortal. It stems from this mysterious event that happened at the beginning of the new millennium that just rendered all of humanity immortal. Now, they didn't get any special powers. There's there's no abilities. They they still get old, they still get sick, and they still feel pain. Uh, so the world is completely overpopulated 200 years after 200 years of this. I mean, there are people that are just heads, hands, fingers like they're still alive. Um so the, the folks in this book, kind of like our heroic team of people that are all uh, sort of adoptive children of this guy called Father, uh, they've made it their mission in life to trying to figure out how to get the natural life cycle back because in, in this world, the only way to save humanity is by killing it. They have limited food, limited resources, because you still have all these people on the planet not dying. So there are people that are 280 years old, that can't die. It's crazy. It's, it feels like, it definitely feels like a fate worse than death, to be honest with you. Um, so, there's, there's a hint of a cult to this. That's, that's all I'm going to say with that. 
we'll leave a link to all the finish line in Edwards, you know, uh, socials and everything down in the description so you can check this stuff out. But it's a really fun story. Sad at the same time. Lots of action, though. Uh, I really enjoy it. So be sure to check it out. So, yeah, that was kind of my... I haven't read the book. Here's the synopsis because I want you to, I want you to know about it. And, and one little little thing I forgot to mention because I, I didn't see it at first is signature right there. Love getting the signatures. Got uh, the, in the thank you page in the back of the book. I always make sure to do at Triangle of Truth so people can see it. But uh, can't wait. We, we've enjoyed the story so far. So no doubt this one's going to be great as well. So yeah, that's Immortal Era. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video today. If you like what you saw, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. The last couple of videos that I've done, I keep forgetting. Like, I got it twice in a row, and then the next few videos, I forgot. But click the bell so you can be notified when we drop a new video. Sean will put something cool over there on... I think I got it right this time. Over there. Uh, and I'll try to remember to pin something in the comments. And, of course, check out the description for all the links to everything. Uh, appreciate everybody check out these books uh, these creators are all doing great things and even if you can't back even if you can't do the dollar to support that are usually on these campaigns just share them out sharing is caring folks so just be sure if nothing else share the campaigns out let's get the word out with these indie books that's gonna do it all for me folks you take care. You have an awesome rest of your day, week, month, year. Whew. Once again, 2024 is just getting here too quick. But y'all take care, and I'll see you in the next one.